Good evening, my peoples. This is Sol here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. In last episode, we actually went inside Gandaroof's mind. We were able to visit the various parts of his mind and learn of some history of the past that we uncovered. We ultimately found the culprit responsible for causing all his memory issues, and now that we've defeated that monster, the Ruhamel, we are able to go out of his mind. But we did also did learn of some things, and that in particular was that Ruhamel was responsible for Sol's town not remembering who he is. Pretty messed up if you ask me. Now, on that note, we need to get out of here. So, that will actually require us to find the store that gets us out of town. I believe it's actually the one that we to the north of us. So, gotta do a little bit of a trek, but not too bad. If you have any loose ends you need to take care of, take care of them now. And as you, as I told you before, you can't go back to that old man portion of the town. So, everything will be kid-based or, you know, ad regular adult-based. Ooh, it's this guy. Let's try to take him out. Chop, chop. Attack, attack, attack. Ooh, he actually stayed. Cool. Look at that. That was the other thing that I remember I told you guys about that uh, the sea sludge, if you can, try to use these type of attacks. That's what you do. Instant takeout, 6,000 XP. Beautiful. Now, we're going to, once again, try to get out of his mind without encountering a fight. Oh, just these... Really? <laughs> these guys? Talk about strange, but whatever. They got countered to death, so... It would be cool if the 8 XP got me to the next level, but it does not. So, on that note, uh, what we want to do from here is go into this building here. And talk to this person. And they're going to ask us, would we like to go outside the mine? Absolutely. Now... Now that we've taken care of that, we should get something. Thank you for defeating the demon. Children, thanks to you, I feel like I can remember something. Now, at this point, you can actually ask him a bevy of questions, so let's do so. Do you have anything you want to ask me? So, first thing we'll ask is the green, because remember, the trees are dying around gate. The power of the devil is coming closer. The power of the devil is taking the life away from the trees. As long as the devil is not destroyed, this world will continue to lose life. There are people who live south of here who will fight this devil. You must meet them. Ah. Now, the other stuff that's here, you can actually learn if you were inside the mind. You, But if you ask him, he'll basically summarize what was told in there. So, our god, that is what the demon said. A devil, huh? Sounds bad. A devil that uses demon like that. Maybe, uh, I can't remember. So, you're pretty much going to hit a lot of dead ends, but for the sake of satisfaction, let's just go through it. Ugh, it's not clear in my mind, but there is a man that used the powers of the demon to possess people to do horrible things. That man's name, his name was, I can't remember. Keep that man in mind. And last was the dragon. The demon got to me, so I can't remember too well. Long ago, a dragon where he led seven brave men to fight a great evil, and I can't remember, so there we go. Now we have our quest. Basically go south of here, but before I do that, because that is the next step, I actually want to tie up a few loose ends. So with that, let's uh, use Spar, and we're going to first warp the township. And I'm going to go through a series of things. I'm not going to actually complete them just yet, but I will go through a series of things. Now, remember, at this point, with the last guy, which was Baros, in Gandaroof's mind, we have now completed our town. And with that, I just like doing that because I want to make sure that my people are full. We want to actually talk to Mr. Baros, and I'm going to explain to you how to get the stuff for him. So here we are. Actually, that's Day, which sells fish, like I told you before in the prior video. But we're going to go to... here we go. Burroughs. I like to teach magic to those with as little AP as possible. Are you the person with low AP as possible? I'm going to say no for now. So basically with him, you have to fulfill two criteria to get the spells. The first one is you have to have no magic, 
no no magic points. And the second one is you're supposed to have one hit point. When you get it to that point, he will teach you a spell. And basically, every time you do that, his mood better is. The better his mood, the better spells you get. And later on, when I start upping the characters, I'm going to go through that. But anyways, uh, the next step I want to do is I want to take you here. So I'm going to show you on the map where I am. There's a town which is south of Tunlin and to the west of where the uh, that little town we saw was. So we're going to go here. And there are a few things we want to do here. So... Let us first use spar and go to this tree. Every time you see a tree in the area that's that big, you can actually go to it and talk to it. So a spar talks to this person. There's a girl named Achichichi who researches the types of machinery at guns, which is close by. Is it strange for a wire tree to talk like this? Ah, so the town that we're going to be going to next is guns. And this episode's mostly going to be for filler, tie-up, loose ends before we go back to the main storyline. And the reason why I want to do this, like I said once again, is I want to take care of as much as possible as to not detract from the true story. And here we go. Welcome to the armory. So first things first, let's try to upgrade our stuff. Now this sword is a huge upgrade from what the sword we have now. And you know what? Yeah, let's get that brass sword. And then there's an upgrade in armor, which is not that big of a upgrade uh shield it is quite an upgrade so let's uh what do we want to do here looks like there's a lot of upgrading we can do but shield wise i want to avoid there is like i said there is a shield i want to get and it is arguably it is the best shield in the game that arguably it is the best shield in the game so remember this guy had said that there's a girl named achichi who lives close by so to get to her, and she is going to be very important, you're going to go into this building here, and you're going to go up here. Now the tricky part of this is, you basically have zero clue as to how to get there, and what you have to do, and this is the fun part, is you go here to the left, actually, is it to the right? It's to the right. And you go down these stairs. And as of always, rule number one, let's see what we can get here, oh nothing, crap. And you want to talk to this girl. And look who it is. It's a Chi Chi. Oh, customer. I'm the engineer Chi Chi. Am I help you with something? <laughs> it's funny. He'd be like the yes or no option. But then like it totally skips over because she interrupts you. Well, it's not like I was hiding. I had a lot to think about. Like, can I make a machine that flies in the air? My, my. I was carrying on again. I'm sorry. What did you need again? So you have two options here. If you talk about body, it's like you get some stupid response. But So I want to say machine. Oh yes, machines are wonderful. Cold, shiny metal, accurate movement without waste. That sound, that smell of oil, oh, it just makes me tingle. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, excuse me, when it comes to machines, I get a little carried away. What, there's a machine under your town I haven't seen before? Oh, please let me examine it, goodness, this is so exciting. And with that, we have finally recruited the last member of our town. And you definitely want to get her very 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 important and I think you can actually search these yes you can so uh, and for that we obtain another crappy tollin <laughs> it would be crappy if you got the other town but it's crappy nonetheless so beautiful beautiful uh, like I said oh and this is the other thing if you go to the accessory town in this town the item shop we can get those fire spice shavite and frisbees that we were that were inside of Gandaroof's mine. So this is the only other place in the game besides uh, another secretive place that I don't. I doubt I'm gonna go for to get that stuff. So, anyways, uh, where you want to go? Next stop shall be. Let me see. Let me see. We could go to Mount Miori and get the other stuff, but I'll probably do it off screen because, like I said, really nothing of value or importance there. Uh, we probably at this point want to go to the next area because we want to pick up a few things. So, looking at our map, if you see where the Great Sea of Trees was, which is to the west of us, if we go south of there, there is an area in which we need to go to. So, but before we do that, actually no, 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 let's go there because I do want to show something very important about that. Da, na, 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 na. 
Sorry, I like singing along to this song, so excuse me for that. <laughs> I should... Yeah, there's really not much we can do loose end-wise. Actually, is there? No, no, there's pretty much nothing we can do. Uh, let's go down south like he told us to. And we'll fight some Basso, so why not? Ah, <laughs> oh, we still can't kill him one shot? That sucks. Oh well. And they egg beater us. Whatever. Ooh, counter, counter, counter. Counter, counter, counter. Come on, count, counter. Yes! There we go. Beautiful. And still getting some good XP and money. I might. Depending. Yes, here we go. Perfect. So, and of course, we encounter something right before we get to the next area. And now we fight a new golem. It's an M golem. Metal golem, I guess? Yeah, that would probably make more sense. So, attack, attack, ran, attack, and spar. Let's try to drop his defense. Maybe that'll help us. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Ooh, we're doing some good damage, too. Let's see. Oh, That never works. Ooh! That would've hurt had he actually got me with that, but... Obviously, being the failure, being a golem at life, so... Kinda sucks for him. Nice. And for that, we get some... We get some decent XP, but Randy the level, and Sparky the level, and she obtained Drain. Very nice. Should I hunt? Yeah, why not? We haven't hunted in a while. And you can see, like, as the level as the level progressed, we were able to get more stuff from the hunting spot, which is awesome. So, but you also get the side effect of now, from hunting from now on, we're going to be dealing with this thing, which is that damn beak. Oh well, couldn't get anything from that fight. So let us go here south like they told us to. And now we encounter this area. It looks kind of foggy, so what does this guy have to say? As you can see, the fog is very deep. It would be impossible to make it through. I wonder if something happened in the Sky Tower. If you try to go forward, you can't actually do it, so that kind of sucks. So, this is the part that sucks the most because without really knowing the game, you pretty much would have very little knowledge as to where to go next, but I'm going to show you. If we actually use our map, trusty musty map, so you're going to see this. If you look to us, there is a dot. If you go to the north from here and go eastward, it's between Simifort and where we are now. There's a little red dot right in the middle of the water. That is where the Sky Tower is. At one point, you'll probably pass by it and not even know. So, the best way to approach this part would be to go to, from Capitan and then go to the Sky Tower. Actually, would that be? No, we wouldn't counter too many fights. I think the fastest way to do this is let's go to Township and then work our way slowly because then I can actually give you the path. So, let's use Warp. Let's Warp Township once again. Let's actually change up our party a little bit, because at this point, we really don't need Spar anymore. We will need some other people, so let me... You know what? Let's switch it up a little. Let's make it a little bit more kooky madooky. So now, like, everybody's looking pretty good level-wise. I want to keep Rand in the party. I would like to have... Cat's doing pretty good. Nina's doing pretty good. You know what? I haven't taken blue in a while. Let's, and you know what? Let's keep cat for a while. So there we go. And let's go in. in. Let's in it up. In it up. In it up. In it up. Up up. In it up. In it up. In it up. Up up. And like I said, guys, I'm sorry about the the lack of content in this episode. I really just want to tie up a lot of loose ends in this area. And one of them was a Chi Chi, because that is going to play a bigger role later on in the game. And let's jump in here, like I said, in the whale. And let's go here, here, here. Let's see how we're doing so far. Doing good. We want to go westward. 
you know you're doing the right track when you see the dead trees of gate. So let's go this way. Let's go north of there. Let's go eastward. And welcome to the Sky Tower. So once again, like I told you, it's between Simmer Fort and the Great Wizard's Wise Tree. And then you would go eastward. So that little area. So let's go, let's go, and here we go. And go down here. And look, it's a bunch of Monero. So what do they got to say? Hmm, the fog is dead. Something in the tower's probably gone haywire. That's what we want to check? Alright. Would you like the guys to go inside? Yes, we would. Now. Very cool. Let us go down here. And welcome to Sky Tower, which happens to be underground. Go figure. Now, if you talk to these people, he's going to tell you there's a room with air. You must take a breath there. And you see in your upper left-hand corner, that is a counter. That basically tells you how much air you have left. If that counter goes down to zero, it's pretty much a wrap. And let's go in here first. This is my first stop, obviously, because check this out. It's a weapon shop. Very cool. And... You can get some nice gear here. Let's see, anything worth it? Uh, not really. Like I said, uh, don't really, not really too worried about shields at this point. Uh, yeah, maybe get the socklet armor to Cat because she definitely needs to upgrade there. That's about it. So, all right. So the way you want to go first is you want to go to the west. This is basically the main area in which we need to encounter. Now, I could go into that area, but we can go encounter that later. Right now, I want to take care of this first. Get a thousand coins. Let's get some loot. Get that loot. Get that loot. Get that loot. 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 And the other point in order I want to tell you guys, too, is you can encounter fights here. So, you best be bringing your best party for fighting. And... Let's go in here, let's go this way, let's go up here, and of course we get into a fight. Go cool figure. Alright, so we got two new monsters, a Needle and a Darius, so... We should be able to take care of these guys pretty quickly. Well, not that quickly. <laughs> uh, oh man, we didn't actually kill that guy, he's pretty buff. No, he's gonna kill somebody! Oh, he thought he was gonna kill somebody. Whew. That would have sucked. Cool. So we took him out. Uh, XP's not that great. If at any point you feel overwhelmed, just go to the menu screen. The timer stops in the menu screen, so keep that in mind. I want to use my healing on myself. And like I said, you are in a race against time, but nothing really to worry about. <sighs> And once again, if you can, just try to take these guys out as quickly as possible. Rand, you're going to attack. Blue, you're going to cast. Let's use, let's use a uh, fireball. As you want, you really want to go all out against these guys. Okay, not too bad. The timer is going down pretty slowly. Of course, he casts defense up X. What a jerk! <laughs> and you may be wondering, why am I? putting these fights up here. Well, the reason why is, like, like we're, on a, we're on a time crunch, so you will be seeing me moving to the best of my abilities, so. <laughs> we gotta go this way, we gotta go up north, we gotta go here, we gotta, of course, we get to a fight. Let's go, come on. Uh, new guy, this is the Crod Worm, so I believe these guys actually are capable of countering and maybe casting spells. I'm not, I don't really know off the top of my head, so just... Once again, all out offensive. That's why the reason why I picked blue for this part because I really need to get in and out of fights as quickly as possible. And she provides the best opportunity for me to do that at this point. Look at that. She does so much damage so quickly. And this is the beautiful part about this area. Now we're going to count to the next set of steps. We want to go up here as quickly as possible. So here, if I, like I said, once again, you just regroup. Uh, let's, once again, just use Rand's spells, because spells replenish, cure two, heal up everybody as best of your abilities, everyone looking good. Let's keep going. Uh, let's do, let's do this, so, counter resets, go this way, and here we go. So, come on, okay, cool. I want to go this way, so, no, 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 
We're going to go up this way. We're going to go to the left. And this is a secret area. Now, a lot of people, I think, get this wrong. Let me see if I remember this one off the top of my head. I thought there was a seek there was an entrance here, but I guess I was wrong. Oh well. Looks like it was just a uh, red herring, so to speak. So once again, take out Darius. Rand, you're gonna attack Darius. Blue gonna cast Fireball once again, and Cat you're just gonna attack. Like there's really just no There's no there's really much like no strategy here. You just have to kill stuff quickly. The faster you kill stuff, the better. And of course, these people are immune to magic. Go figure. And they cast freeze. Great. Not good. And normally I would speed up fights like this, but unfortunately... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Both these guys have freeze? Of course. Woo, and I live. I live! I live! Talk about being a boss. And Ran, you're gonna attack. Blue. Uh, you know what? You heal me, because I definitely need the healing and cat you attack. So there we go. It's like the worst monster to encounter here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, not too bad. I don't do too much damage. Just that free spell makes it such a pain in the you-know-what. Okay, cool. We're doing pretty good. And let's just auto at this point, because we're going to take him out. There we go. And it was a red herring, of course it was. And you want to get to that stairway, so what you do is you just go like that. And you want to go up, 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 and no, I did not want to do that. Crap. Uh, attack, attack, blue. Cast your free. Where is it? Freeze. Freeze on Darius and a cat attack. Come on. Okay, he's building up, so it's not too bad. I just want to take these guys out as quickly as possible. Post haste. Toot sweet. Luckily, the magic we're doing is doing a good amount of damage as well. No! Of course you would do that, you jerk of a freaking conch fish. So, at this point, uh, Ran, you're just gonna wake me up. Blue, you're gonna attack, and Cat, you're gonna attack. Cause, come on. Da, da. Look at that. That's, I love that. I. I very few times do I get to relish the opportunity to actually use that attack, because it's really cool. You can do it. And Soul gets his revenge by doing that. Okay, so we're going to go north, and we're going to go to up these stairs, and we're going to get this treasure chest. we got an ice shield. So, as always, rule of thumb for me is give the main character the best equipment in the game. <laughs> Okay, we got our hit points nice and up. We got the other treasure chest. We got some frozen armor. Let's equip that. Doesn't actually help me. Doesn't help that. Doesn't help that. And does not help Cat. So we'll give that to somebody who can really need it and use it. Of course. Oof, this is not a good set of monsters to face. So you know what? At this point, I'm just going to drag in it up. Everybody defend. And this should be an instant kill. No. Okay, we lived. Whew. That would have sucked. <laughs> I did not live that. <laughs> Beautiful. Took him out. And it sucks that the XP is so terrible. Oh, and blue gain hail. Very nice. So, uh, at this point, I really want to heal up because I don't want to get into a unfortunate fight that would uh, ruin my chances of living. So... Ooh, get a North Dagger, which is good for Sten. And we gotta get, once again, go up another set of stairs. So that means we're drawing very close to where we need to get to. So let's attack, attack the Darius. Ran, attack the Darius. Uh, blue, cast Freeze on Darius. And Cat, attack the Darius. So there we go. <laughs> uh... 
Ah, <laughs> oh, man. There's like really not much you can say about these fights. It's, that's like the sucky part about this, but... And you see... That, that timer is going down. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Oh my god. These guys... These are the worst... The Amonica are the worst ones to fight in this entire area. Because they have such high defense and they have that ability to freeze you, which sucks. And two, one. And the music should be speeding up right about now. Oh, we froze. Yep, now the music starts speeding up. <laughs> that means hurry up, you fools. Yep, and we made it. And look at that. Isn't that a shaman? What? You guys, huh? You guys can stop the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the wind shaman. I was bored, so I was blowing the fog here and there. <laughs> but if it's bothering you, I'll stop now. Well, I better go back to Granny. And there we go. We were able to solve the dilemma of the Sky Tower just like that. But on that note... There is an easy way to take care of this and a hard way to take care of this, but I think it's a good time to cut off on here. We were able to go learn that there are people to the south of the Great Wise Tree that will help us, but first we had to solve the issue of the Sky Tower. But we were also able to get recruit somebody else in our town who's going to check out the machine that is below our town. So, not too much to take care of, but we took care of a lot of loose ends, which is very awesome, but I promise next episode will be very, very storyline packed. So if you like this episode, Please like, comment, subscribe to my, this video and to my, all my other ch videos and to my channel. This is Soul signing off on the Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. I all hope you have a great day. Peace.